A red flag is used as a sign of warning of a danger. When it comes to a relationship, red flags are warning signs that indicate unhealthy or manipulative behavior. It will intuitively tell you to keep away from them or situations because something's not right. Red flags are not always recognizable at first, which is part of what makes them so dangerous. However, they tend to grow bigger and become more problematic over time. Red flags can be signs of narcissism, aggression, victimization, or even abusive behavior. If we ignore red flags, we usually end up in trouble. We should be aware of some common red flags so you can prevent getting involved in a toxic relationship. Here are 8 red flags that people ignore at the beginning of a relationship. Moving entirely too fast. Close relationships either platonic or romantic take time to build. This behavior not only displays immaturity, it can be viewed as toxic. When someone does this, your intuition tells you to run. There's nothing healthy about rushing. Always remember it takes maturity and experience to identify a real-life long-term partner. When you know what you want, and you can live with another person's flaws and you have no plans to change them now or in the future, spending time and dating someone who is not over their ex. Correct me if I am wrong, but it's usually girls who put up walls because they have been hurt in the past. The biggest red flag is if they talk too much about their ex and their previous relationship. They give you hints that you have to prove yourself to them so that they can commit to a relationship with you. So when someone tries that excuse, you should end it right then and there. Asking and borrowing money is a big no no matter how needy you can be. If you've been dating someone only a few times and asks you for money, this is a red flag you cannot and should not ignore. It's one of the most obvious signs that someone is talking to you for all the wrong reasons. No one you've just met should be asking you for money. It doesn't matter how much you have in common or what kind of a connection you feel. There are people out there who will take advantage of your kindness. You might want to believe that everyone is good and wouldn't ask you for money unless they were desperate. But you can bet they've done this to people before and will continue to do it. Different Core Values If your core values do not match, how can you expect to build your relationship with such a person? Let's take an example. Let's say you are a clean and organized person who gives great importance to personal hygiene. If you are dating a person who does not keep cleaning and maintaining personal hygiene on a priority as yours, you are gonna have problems. Neither of you is wrong. It is just that you have different views on the same thing. You should always date a person who matches your core values. They don't respect your boundaries. Everyone has different physical, sexual and mental boundaries. When beginning to date someone, it's all about exploring these boundaries in a healthy way that makes each party feel respected and safe. Boundaries can also look like invading your personal space, asking too personal of questions, or even not respecting your time. When someone pushes your boundaries in an unhealthy way, it means they don't respect you. When they don't respect your boundaries, there is little to no consideration about your feelings in given situations. Your friends don't like them. Your friends are your friends for a reason. It's often because they share the same interests and values as you. So, if your friends don't like your new romantic interest, it can be a major red flag. People often give off vibes that, when too close, you don't have the perspective to sense. A true friend is going to feel like they can tell you how they really feel even if it might hurt your feelings in the moment. If your new date is downright mean, rude, or disrespectful to your friends, you should get out. Controlling behavior and excessive jealousy. Overly controlling behavior is a common red flag. People that try to control your movements, decisions, or beliefs are more concerned about what they want than what is best for you. In a healthy relationship, there is compromise and understanding around differences. Not one person controls the other person's actions. For example, they might feel jealous when you have a social life outside of your relationship. A jealous partner may also suffocate you with excessive calls or texts and try to control what you do. You have a bad gut feeling. Trusting your gut is key to nearly everything in life. 
and it is especially true for dating. Dating is all about getting to know someone and seeing if you're interested in building a relationship with someone. Relationships are all about going at a comfortable pace, building trust, being honest, having independence from each other, valuing each other's beliefs, feeling balanced, being caring and compassionate, taking responsibility, having healthy conflict and having fun. Final phase. When you notice red flags early in a relationship, take note of them, whether you're running into lies, experiencing possessiveness, or being put down, you should take the situation seriously and consider how it might affect your relationship. My advice is always trust your gut. Don't be afraid to ghost them if it is not safe to express your feelings or exit the relationship. That's all for today. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.